Yo guys, I'm Faster Rides. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's nice to have you along for the ride. So today, what I want to talk to you about is this bike and the three things that I hate about it the most. So I've had the bike 7,700 miles now. I bought it with 1,800 miles on the clock. So I've had it a good few months and I've learned a lot about it and I've learned all the niggles and everything. I have had it remapped by BHP UK. There's a video on my channel. I'll try and put a thing up there or up there, up there, wherever, to show you that. Uh, that was all done by post, by the way. I didn't have to dyno it or anything. So yeah, the three things that I hate about this bike, and the, the main issue that I've got with this, this bike is, is the speed wobbles. So that's number one, stability. High speed and low speed st stability. So low speed, what you would find is when you took your hands off the handlebars, when you have the stock tires on, that it just goes, it just goes into a death wobble really violently as well it's not like it's a smooth one or anything it's, it's it's really bad so you can't take your hands off the bars at all but i have had new tires fitted i've had avon spirit sts put on which are an absolute cracking tire probably just as good as the road sixes and the road fives low speed stability is the is one of them but i've cured that with changing the tires and that seems to have gone now the high speed one, oh, this is crazy this. So I was coming on the M62 home from Italy and I was fully loaded up with camping gear and panniers and top box and all that gear on. And I uh, opened it up basically on the motorway because I were overtaking a car or a load of cars actually. And uh, it just went into this wobble where the handlebars were just weaving in and out like the bike was wallowing and weaving. And I couldn't stop it. I was trying to stop it with my body. I was uh, dipping the clutch and nothing worked apart from, uh, yeah, so putting my hand on the, the front, uh, my foot on the brake and uh, a bit of brake on the front. And that only stopped it. That was the only thing that would stop it. So yeah, the death wobbles, that's the worst thing. It's a stability issue and geometry issue with the bike that needs looking at further. So. You just have to be careful when you're fully laden up. Make sure you have it on sport suspension so it keeps it hard and firm. And then you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, so number two, what's number two? Comfort. Actual comfort, because the bloody isn't any. The stock seat is hard as hell. So I bought the Ergo seat with a heater in it, heating element, and that's even worse that's harder than the stock seat so that, that that's a comfort issue I've noticed that when I've been riding the bike all day I get about two or three hours into it and my ass is killing so I have got an airflow seat on now which does help a little bit but not a lot the third thing I hate well I love and hate is the electronics I love them because they're, they're brilliant you know that when they work they work they work great but sometimes I get a preload error. Now that's due to the battery. The battery in these bikes is not good enough for the amount of computers on the on the bike. In fact, there's six in total, six ECUs on this. Yeah, and uh, what happens is you get quite often on this bike. Actually, it's happened well over well, way two or three times. Is a preload error. Now that's all to do with. Um, the rear shock it just doesn't know where it is so it it just has a hissy fit and comes up on the dash saying preload error so what you've got to do to get out of that is two things well there's two options that you've got one is that you just live with it you get off the bike put it on its side stand turn it off turn it back on jobs are good and wait till it fires up the dash and everything and then you can uh, make a jump on it and go that's it or you can replace the battery with a gel battery or a lithium battery and i think i'm going down the lithium route eventually so that's the three things that i hate about this bike but would i still swap it for anything 
at the moment I can't see anything you know I haven't had it long enough to to say that I'd swap it yeah so I hope you enjoyed that I hope it helps you a disclaimer here is these are just my opinions my opinions alone don't necessarily have to agree with me or whatever you know you might have your own ideas and stuff like that but that's just my uh, thing so if you did like that video guys please smash that like button if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe I'm up to 1000 1030 subscribers now which I'm rather chuffed with you know growing slowly but surely right well I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you next time peace out guys